Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Rachel and I am knitting. Not right now, but most of the time. And today I'm going to be cranking. It's been a while since I have used or filmed a video with my Dean and Bean sock machine. So today I'm gonna do it. I miss cranking. Today I wanna crank, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna crank. In an earlier video, I walked you through my experience knitting an Oslo hat with boucle yarn and sport weight yarn. And I thought that today would be a good day to try and see if it works in my sock machine. Um, I don't know, I haven't tried it, I'm not sure. Um, but I want to crank today and I don't know, I feel like making something that isn't a sock. So let's see if this will work on my sock machine. Um, the first thing that I need to do is wind these leftover skeins, these cakes, onto cones. So the tension will be correct when I go to crank it on the machine. Um, my vision for uh, these two yarns is to alternate every 20 rows or so. So I'm not sure if I want to seam them up together after and make a pillow sham or just like make a long scarf. I don't know, we'll just see where the day takes us. But the first step is, like I said, to get these wound onto cones. I'm gonna put my headphones on and listen to my audiobook. I'm currently listening to Fourth Wing and it's kind of spicy. So, so that's what I'll be doing. Uh, not necessarily, you know, listening to the spicy parts. But what I'm trying to say is that's the book I'll be listening to. And uh, there may or may not be spicy parts. It, anyway, if you choose to read this book, there are spicy parts. So read it knowingly or listen to it knowingly. Um, but anyway, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to be listening to my audiobook while I get to cranking. So let's go over to the sock cranking station. Okay, so like I said, the first thing that I need to do is wind those cakes onto a cone. So uh, I've gotten questions about this before. I've also answered it, but if you wanna know, uh, this is a drill attachment that um, comes with your sock machine or you can order um, at the Dean and Dean website. Um, basically you put it on your power drill, you put the cone on top and then you are ready to wind. I decided to stop winding this cone here because um, I didn't really, I didn't really strategize this super well because uh, it's like very top heavy or it, it could become very top heavy if I kept going. And when that happens, which is, that's totally my fault that that happened. But when that happens, sometimes it makes it so the yarn kind of comes off and gets all discombobulated and tangled. And I really don't want to tangle the boucle because it's kind of like a sticky yarn. So uh, I don't want to deal with a tangle in boucle because that would just like be a nightmare and I'm not going to do it. So I didn't wind all of that boucle up, but now I'm going to wind the sport up and it should, should be pretty uh, easy going and straightforward. And I'll be mindful of not making it top heavy on accident like I just did with the boucle. All right, we've got all of the sport wound up, all of the boucle wound up, and let's get to cranking. Remember, this is a total experiment, okay? So it might not work, we'll see.
All right, it's off the machine. Can you believe it? It actually worked. I am, I don't know if I'm surprised, shocked, just happy, but I'm so happy it worked. Um, so here's what I did. I started doing like even rows. So I did 20 rows, 20 rows. And then I was like, I'll do 40 rows and then 20 rows. And then I was like, I'll do 60 rows and then 20 rows and then 40 rows again. So I thought maybe I'd make like a mirror image, but then I decided, uh, I don't care about the numbers. So I'm just going to crank until I feel like it. So you can see that this section of boucle is like very, very small little um and then a big old section of boucle where i used the rest of the cone and then i used i just cranked until the rest of the sport was done so i am so happy that i did this experiment i'm so glad to know that my sock machine loves loves the sport weight and also loves the boucle weight there were some snags with the boucle weight where i had to make sure the stitches got um, knit and I had to um, like fix a few stitches but overall this went through so beautifully and so easily in the sock machine can you even imagine it wow so while boucle is uh uh great to work with like I really enjoyed working with it for my Oslo hat it still is a different texture when you're hand knitting and that comes with pros and cons uh but machine knitting it wow that just takes takes out that headache okay so now it's not technically finished though because here's the deal it's not long enough to be a scarf because <laughs> this is only how far it goes around my neck I uh, can't really wrap it around. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe I'll make it, I don't really know. I don't know what I'll do with this yet. But I think that I am going to, what am I going to do? Here's the thing. I regret starting with a hung hem because I realized about halfway through that I don't know how to do a hung hem when I'm finishing. So maybe when I seam this up and sew it up, I'll sew it down to the bottom of this sport weight section. So this is also a cuffed end. I think that's probably what I should do. This, yeah, it's just not long enough to be um, a cowl or like a double wrap scarf um, or an infinity scarf, I guess you would call it. Let's see how it looks on an arm. It's yeah, it's too too small to be a sleeve. Uh, so I need to think. I need to think through what I'm gonna do with this. But that's so exciting. And obviously, it's not gonna be a pillow sham because uh, how would that work? It's not gonna work. So maybe if you have ideas, let me know uh, what you would do with this. But for now, I have this perfect little boucle sport weight tube. Look how pretty that is. Hmm. Let's see. What could we make with this? Hmm. Could it be a hair bow? No, too thick. Hmm. You know what? I think I am just going to go ahead and seam this up so I can call this a finished object and uh, maybe try and make it a scarf. Let's see what we can do. So I'm going to change the camera to bird's eye view so you can see me seam it up and then we'll try and style it. But no promises. Just like when I started this video, we didn't know if it was going to work on the sock machine. Now we don't know if this is going to look good. Uh, as like a styled piece. It looks great as a tube, but a tube is not really very useful. So let's figure this out. To the seaming.
All right, the seaming is done and I don't really feel like weaving in the end. So for now, I'm just gonna tuck them inside the uh, scarf tube thing. And look, now we have kind of a scarf you can style. No, it just looks like a sock around my neck. Uh, let's see. That looks like a sock. Did I really just make a sock to put around my neck? Darby, please stop panting about this. Obviously, that's not going to work. Okay, so maybe you want to go get water. Here you go. Go on. She needed to be released from the room. Um, okay, so this is too short. <laughs> too short to be a scarf. Uh, with blocking, maybe. I don't know if it would stretch enough. Um, but I do have a finished tube thing man this would have been so cute if it had been long enough to be a scarf maybe let's let's see this let's go into my box of pins oh i know let's try this shawl pin that i got from twice sheared sheep from the advent box in 2022 I think it's so cute, but I have never worn it because does anyone else have things that they like think are so pretty and so fancy, but they don't use because how do you use this? Because you're afraid that you'll do it wrong or something. That's me and this shawl pin. And obviously I am proving that theory right because how in the world do you do this? Maybe something like that. Okay, that's not so bad. Is it? I don't know. It's an idea. Uh, so I guess I need your help. <laughs> Obviously. How in the world am I going to style this? Maybe with like a beautiful flower brooch. I uh, have a lot of these like big. Oh, hi. Are you back? Um that wasn't the ghost of a Victorian child. It was Darby. You just couldn't see her because she's too short to see her in, in the frame. Um, okay. So as I was saying, <sighs> help me, <laughs> help me. How am I going to style this? I think if it were longer, it would be perfect. It'd be the perfect width for a nice cozy scarf to wrap around your neck a couple times, but as is, it's just a little bit too short. So what am I going to do? Let me know. Uh, so this was a half failed video, a half successful video, because what did I learn? Or what did we learn together? We learned that the sock machine loves sport weight and uh, sort of loves boucle weight or bou silky boucle from Treehouse Knits. Look how these are uneven. So it's like this is an experiment. So it's OK that it's not perfect. It's OK that it's a little wonky. It is okay, Rachel. Just chill out. Obviously, that's not going to work either. Okay, so let me know in the comments what in the world you would do with this. Plot twist. That's right, gentle viewer. I figured out what to do with this. Um, the Winter Witch, Jaden, helped me in the Treehouse and its Discord and also on Instagram. People helped me, giving me suggestions of what I should use this for. So basically, I put the twice sheared sheep shawl pin up higher. Wow. Twice sheared sheep shawl pin. Say that five times fast. I put that up higher to give this more of an ascot look and there you go. It's a finished object. That's what it is. I'm glad that I know now that this can make a scarf because guess what? Maybe that is the answer to my question of what to make with these two skeins of worth fighting for boucle. Maybe I can just crank a really beautiful, nice, long scarf. That's all I have for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. And hit that notification bell to be notified of my next upload. Last but not least, head over to Instagram and follow me at Rachel is Knitting if you don't already. All right. Okay. Thanks. Have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.